the brain, and the spinal cord. Again, this whole structure from the tip of the coiter hanggang dito, that is the neural tube, which will become later on parts of the brain and the spinal cord. Okay? So the walls of the neural tube, this one, consists of neuroepithelial cells. Okay? So these cells class are called the ependymal layer. Okay? Which will become the ependyma. Again, the walls of the neural tube is surrounded by neuroepithelial cells. We call the ependyma layer, which will become the ependyma. Again, class, when we say neuroepithelial cells, it is lined by simple columnar ciliated epithelium, which you will lay, uh, later on learn during your lecture. Okay. We have two zones surrounding the neuroepithelial layer. We have the mantle layer and the marginal layer. This is the mantle layer and the marginal layer. Again, class, this whole structure is the neuroepithelial layer which surrounds the neural tube. Then we have two layers. The mantle layer which will eventually form the gray matter of the spinal cord. And this light structure surrounding the mantle layer is the marginal layer. Okay? The marginal layer class will become the white matter of the spinal cord. Did you get it? So this full structure, yan ang gandito, that is the mantle layer. Again, what is the fate of the mantle layer? The gray matter of the spinal cord. And this structure class, the light structure surrounding the mantle layer, is the marginal layer, which will become the white matter of the spinal cord. Did you get it? Now, let's focus on the mantle layer. Again, the mantle layer surrounds the neuroepithelial layer. It is found on both sides. Okay, so if you have a mantle layer here, another mantle layer here. You can see the mantle layer class, it has two bulge, diba? This one and this one. Okay, if nothing to ask class, that is the ventral thickening, and yung nasa ibaba, that is the dorsal thickening. Okay, the ventral thickening class are the basal plate. Okay? That is the, again, again. Okay, class, again, you have two thickening since this is found. At the caudal layer of the spinal cord, the nasa ito as class, that is the alar plate. And yung nasa iba ba, that is the basal plate. Okay? Again, this is the alar plate and the basal plate. Alar plate, basal plate, alar plate, basal plate. So when we ask during the orientation, what is the whole structure pointed class? That is the mantle layer. Ha? Whole structure. Specific structure pointed. Oh, what is the specific structure class? A layer plate. Very good. And this is the basal plate. Okay? Specific structure. And the alien class, kasama the sa practicals. Mini practicals as well as the major practicals. Okay? This basal plate class, okay, this basal plate class will eventually form the motor area of the spinal cord. Okay? And this basal plate will form the motor area of the spinal cord while the alar plate will form the sensory area of the spinal cord. Okay? Nakuha class? This one class is the motor area. While this one, the inner plate, will form the sensory area of the spinal cord.
Okay. So here, follow the inner plate class. It gives off fibers. And you can see here, yan na, sundan nyo yan. It gives off root. That is, again, the sensory root of the spinal cord. Then here, you have this uh, bulging area. That is the dorsal root ganglion. Ha? Nakuha? This is outside the, the, uh, the spinal cord na, ha? This is now class the dorsal root ganglion. Okay? Sobrang complicated na ba? Kaya pa. Marami pa yan. Again, uh, let's review. This is the developing uh, neural tube, which will become the brain and the spinal cord. It is surrounded by the neuroepithelial layer, okay, which is the ependymal layer. And then, the ependymal layer is surrounded by two structures. The mantle layer, which will become the gray matter of the spinal cord, and the marginal layer, which will become the white matter of the spinal cord. Okay, the mantle layer is further divided into the inner plate and basal plate. The inner plate class will become the sensory portion, while the basal plate will become the motor portion of the spinal cord. The inner plate gives off the sensory spinal nerve, uh, spinal root, therefore forming the dorsal root ganglion. Look at the basal plate class. Okay, it also gives off fibers which will become the motor root. Ito na yan, class. Itong line na yan, pag nag-mix na, o nag-mix na yung sensory and motor root nyo, that will become the spinal nerve. Okay? Diba? In sensory and motor, they will meet to become the spinal nerve. Okay? Did you get it? Okay, nakuha? Any questions? None? Do you want me to repeat it or nakuha niya na? Class, section E. Repeat. Repeat. Okay. Last ha, last na, last. Makinig. Repeat, may trophy daw kayo. Sige. Okay. Pag nag-repeat tayo, nadadagdagan yan ha. Again, this is the neural tube surrounded by the neuroepithelial layer. The neuroepithelial layer is lined by simple columnar ciliated epithelium. This is also called the ependymal layer, which will become the ependyma. Now, the neuroepithelial layer is um, surrounded by two structures. We have the mantle layer, which will become the gray matter of the spinal cord. And the marginal layer here, surrounding the mantle layer, the light structure that is the marginal layer, which will become the white matter of the spinal cord. Now, look at the mantle layer class. It is further divided into two. This one class, which is the alar portion, will become the sensory root. While the basal plate will become the motor part of the spinal cord. The sensory part will give off a branch which will become the dorsal root ganglion, sensory, while the motor will give off uh, the ganglion, motor ganglion. Then they will meet each other to become the spinal nerve. Okay? Oh, nadagdagan. We have here class the roof plate and the floor plate. Ito yan, yung nasa itaas, that is the roof plate. And yung nasa ibaba is the floor plate. Okay? So, ano ba yung function yan? Diyan lang dumadaan yung mga nerve fibers nyo, crossing on each side. Again, this is the roof plate and this is the floor plate. O, dahil sa pinaulit nyo, may isa pang structure dyan. This sulcus limitans class, itong structure nito, this is a longitudinal group which separates the alar from the basal plate. Sulcus limitans, 
in the longitudinal group that separates the alar from the basal plate. Okay? Again, the dagdagan sulcus limitans. This one is the root plate and the floor plate. Okay? Let's move on. Nakuha na class? Next, we'll study the developing brain vesicles. First is the, oh, you've seen this before, the diencephalon. Okay. Okay, what is the landmark class? That you are at the level of the diencephalon, the developing eye. Okay? So again, when you see the developing eye, this structure, this uh, brain vesicle here is the diencephalon. Again, what is the ventricle of the diencephalon class? Third ventricle. Okay, so this is the raskin's pouch and this is the infantino, which will become the... Ah? Yes, the pituitary, anterior and posterior pituitary. May naintindihan talaga. Oh, this is the infantibulum. Diba? The nipple-like structure, extension of the diencephalon is the infantibulum. Okay, again, that is the developing eye. Next, nakuha na? Next slide. This class of Tenancia for the Moya Ayurvedas of Free City. Okay, class, this is now the developing nose. Yes. Slide in which you'll see the, and yes, the esophagus, the trachea, the developing part. So anterior to it, you will see this structure. This is again the developing nose. Okay, then you will see two openings. So kanina ang landmark nyo is the developing eye. At the naman class, ang landmark nyo is the developing nose. Kasi this will become the alar plate. Yun yung uh, ala, sorry. Yung ala of the nose. Yung ano yung, ano, sa nose, yung ala, ito. Yung may butas na nyo. Okay? So when you see that class, that is the developing nose, then you will see two opening. That is the telencephalon. Ha? You have the right and the left telencephalon. Okay. The ventricle within the telencephalon is the lateral Ventricle. Your telencephalon class, what is the fate of the telencephalon? Hmm? Plus, hindi nyo pa alam. It will become the cerebral hemisphere. And telencephalon will become the cerebrum. Again, the telencephalon will become the how about the diencephalon class? What is the fate of the diencephalon? The thalamus, very good. Also the hypothalamus, the optic cup, etc. Okay, so don't worry, you will find out during your lecture. So when you see this two opening, that is the diencephalon, which will become the cerebral, the cerebral hemisphere. I think that's your class. You have the right and the left. Diba you have two cerebral hemispheres, the right and the left. So, dalawa yung opening niya. Ha? Pag dalawang opening niya, telencephalon, which will become the cerebral hemisphere. So, the fate is the cerebral hemisphere. Again, what is the ventricle? Lateral ventricle. Okay? Good. Yes, please. Okay. 
We have this structure. Your landmark task is the developing ear. Pag nakita niya yung developing ear, this whole structure is the that is the hind brain that is the hind brain or the rumbin cephalon this whole structure class is the rumbin cephalon Again. the rumbin cephalon is further divided into methane cephalon and the myelin cephalon okay so the rhombus cephalon is further divided into the methane cephalon and the myelin cephalon. This class here, we can do the anterior portion that is the methane cephalon. And here, when you go posteriorly, this is now the myelin cephalon. And this one class is the methane cephalon. And this one, the taper na portion that is now the myelin cephalon. Okay? The methane cephalon class, this one, the methane cephalon, will become the cerebellum and pons. Again, the face will become the cerebellum and pons while the myelin cephalon will become the medulla of the gata. Kaya tingnan nyo kaso pa-taper na siya. Kasi yan na yung magiging medulla of the gata nyo. Ano ba ang kalupong ng medulla of the gata? The spinal cord. Kaya taper na itong portion na ito. Ha? Again, this whole structure is the rumbin cephalon which will again be divided into the methane cephalon this one, and the myelin cephalon. The myelin cephalon will become the medulla, while the metencephalon will become the cerebellum and pons. What is now the cavity here, class? The cavity now is the fourth ventricle. Okay, the cavity is the fourth ventricle. Now, we have another structure, anterior to the rhombin cephalon. This is now class the mesencephalon, okay? Or the midbrain. The mesencephalon or the midbrain, the cavity within is the cerebral aqueduct or the eye. Okay? So this whole structure, yung dalog na yan, that will become the midbrain. And the, the cavity within the midbrain is the either or cerebral aqueduct. Okay? Mesencephalon will become the midbrain. Okay. So let's review. You have three uh, brain vesicles the prosencephalon, the mesencephalon, which is at the tip of the pointer. Again, the mesencephalon will become the midbrain. Its remain will become the anterior and posterior colliculi. While this one class is the rhombencephalon. Okay? Again, the prosencephalon, or within natin. Yung prosencephalon yung class will become later on the telencephalon and the diencephalon. Huwag kayong matoxic aralin nyo yan sa lecture nyo. Your lecturer will be Dr. Alcantara. Sabi niya siya na daw mag-lecture. Again, the prosencephalon will become the diencephalon and the telencephalon. Paulit-ulit na tayo, ha? Telencephalon. Ha? Okay, the telencephalon, what is the fate again? Cerebral hemisphere. Very good. Now, the mesencephalon will become the midbrain. This is the mesencephalon. While the rhombencephalon will be further divided into the metencephalon and the myelin cephalon. Again, the metencephalon will become the cerebellum and the pons, while the myelin cephalon will become the medulla of Longata. Okay? Nakuha? Dami, no? 
Okay, study your slides, then if you're done, you can put your manual sa last table, then we will check it.